Tonight, a brain disease often associated with football, boxing, and other sports in which concussions are common is for the first time being linked to baseball. Michelle Miller tells us that researchers found signs of it in the brain of a player who committed suicide last year. Major leaguer Ryan Friel was not an all-star, but he built a reputation over eight years in the big leagues as the guy who would do anything to make a play. Friel said he suffered 10 concussions by the time he retired in 2010. Last December, the 36-year-old father of three shot himself. Norma Vargas is his mother. Things made him unhappy. He, he will get sad, very sad. Friel's family suspected his concussions played a role. They donated his brain tissue to this lab where Boston University researchers study chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. It's believed the disease is triggered by blows to the head. Brain tissue breaks down, which is the cause of memory loss and dementia. Bob Stern is co-founder of the university's research center. In some individuals, it can increase problems with impulse control. It can lead to depression and suicidality. I feel better that there's a great study about this illness and that things could change in the years to come. The disease has been associated with pro football, as we said, which has changed some of the rules to reduce the risks. And Scott, Major League Baseball announced it would ban home plate collisions by 2015. Michelle, thanks very much.